I'm going to give you three tips of how to make technically sophisticated visual effects. Okay, so I already spoke in another video about how to make artistically beautiful effects, and that's definitely half of the equation when you're making visual effects. Today is the other half, the technical part, the tooling, the technique, the, the, the tricks that you need to know to make these things come to life. Both are essential. So there's three things that you need to get, and the first thing is to get creative. Now, a lot of people don't really associate creativity with technical challenges. And that's probably because oftentimes when we think of tech and tools, we might get a little anxious and we might think that there's a lot of problems. Well, the reality is that problem solving is a creative activity. It's actually deeply creative. And you can explore that more deeply by realizing that they're not really problems so much as they are challenges. You want to replace the anxiety with curiosity. So when I was at Riot, this was abundantly apparent to me, right? I had so many things to learn. I was so overwhelmed for that first year that I was on the job. And every day I came in, I was learning a new term, a new tool or a new technique. Just there was so much information. It was overload, right? And that really felt like a challenge. And I was having anxiety because I felt like I'm never going to learn this stuff. It's way too complex. What am I even doing here? And we all face that. So what I learned was that and I was mentored to, to think this way, and now I'm passing this on to you. Don't think of it as a challenge, or sorry, don't think of it as a problem. Think of it as a challenge, right? This is something for you to get curious about, to try to understand it, whether it's a new shader technique, uh, something in scriptable effects like Niagara or visual effect graph in Unity, or if it's like visual scripting like Blueprints or just regular scripting like you do in Unity. There's all kinds of new things that can be overwhelming when you're in the technical side of effects. But the key is to just remember you're in this strange new land and it's a magical land where anything is possible. Like imagine that you're like this creative entity that can move through this magical space and you can build anything you want to build. Well, because that's not our world, you're going to have to learn the new customs, the new laws, the new language, everything that a citizen of that world or universe or whatever would need to know in order to be functional. And that's you becoming an effects artist. So don't be afraid of it. It's new for all of us. It's a new language and new customs that all of us have to learn. And it is awkward, just like learning a new language is. So that's the first thing, get creative. The next one is get lost in the complexity. So you're in this fun new land. Well, it can be a very tedious land. I'll tell you that right now. But tedious to me, I've come to associate with good things. Like for example, I love Lego bricks. They are tedious, repetitive, fine mortar skill, little, like it's a, it's a hobby that takes a lot of focus, a lot of attention, and it gets me into a flow state. So I talk a lot about this flow state because honestly, it's the key to finding creative productivity. There's a lot of other hobbies that are the same way, whether it's running, which is enormously tedious and repetitive, but a lot of people really love it because it gets them into a flow. It gets them into this nice, like sort of meditative, mindful state of mind that they really enjoy. I don't know, for you, it might be knitting, uh, any number of hobbies. Most hobbies I actually find tend to have a component of repetitive flow state tediousness to them. Okay, so when we're in that flow state and you're trying to get, get lost in the complexity, what I mean by getting lost in it is that you're breathing, right? You're, you're breathing in and breathing out and you're losing time because of the flow. And so next time you're feeling yourself kind of not getting into that flow, just remember to breathe. Just take a look at that tool and get excited about each little thing you get to hook up, each little number you get to type in. And then the final thing you need to get is get help. <laughs> Specifically, get help from a mentor. We've all had to learn this the hard way, but now we don't anymore because we have mentorship. We have people over on our Discord server that you can go chat with and ask questions. In fact, go sign up for the free training now, and then you'll get access to the Discord server. You'll see our mentors over there. You'll be like, yo, you're a mentor. Uh, can I ask you some questions? <laughs> and that's what they're there for, is to help you have a better experience than they had when they were learning with the tech and the tools. Uh, the free training is full of great resources as well to get you started. It's a nice uh, starting point, speaking of getting started to make technically sophisticated effects. 
And yeah, those are the three things. I hope you got a lot out of it and I'm super excited to see all the amazing things you're going to build and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.